Hi, hi, I'm back and it's a small cumulative haul from Sephora, MAC, Inglot and just two simple products, drugstore products I picked up at Walmart. So if you like to see the stuff that I picked up, please keep on watching. So I recently was out again and um, I had the opportunity of going to Sephora, MAC and the mall that I was at had Inglot. So I was super excited because there was just one item I wanted to get and of course I led to two other items but I must say I'm so proud of myself because I didn't overdo my buy. I was rather selective even when I was in Walmart where I had like a full range of products and I had a list of things I really wanted to get. I told myself no there was no need and um, I just resisted. I had a kind of budget I was working with and I told myself I was going to pick up a little more high-end products because I recently picked up a lot of drugstore products. So that was my goal. I actually did have um, worked on a second job like in May, end of May into, no, end of April into May and so I was recently paid. So I was like, hey, I need to mark because that was one stressful job and I need to mark that with treating myself to a couple of things. So that was my little mini splurge on me because I know I'm worth it. Yeah, I know some of you be like, oh my gosh, Ronnie is so full of it, but I'm serious. A lot of times we work so hard and it's like, you know, we do all, all kind of other stuff and I generally treat my husband and my kids and I did treat my kids and I actually went into to, uh, I actually went into Sephora to get something for my husband, which in turn he fell bad and he was like, you have to pick up something you need. Well, I don't ever need anything in makeup, but yeah, I end up just like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And then while we chat and he said, you know, go into Mac and pick up something and splurge on yourself. And then I said, okay, I went into Mac, picked up one item actually, and I was like, you know what? And then he's, Inglot wasn't too far from it. He's like, you always like that store, go find something please I want to see you come out at least with one or two items so that's where this whole started I know I rambled a lot but I just still want to encourage some of you to you know it's not a sin to treat yourself and a lot of times we work hard we push ourselves but it's good to like pump ourselves a little I'm not a person to buy like lots of accessory and clothes and shoes and that kind of stuff I pamper myself with makeup so that is where this goes and it's two and a half minutes and I'm still rambling but yeah let me show you first the stuff I got from Sephora alright so from Sephora I picked up a cologne for him and um, he chose it can't you remember what it was I can't remember I think it was um, it was one from Givenchy I think that was the one because it was in a kit with samples and then he while he was there he was like you know what let me just redeem it and he picked up I think it was something from Givenchy so for me i saw this and i really like the maracuja oil and the one that i was finished is glow and i use it for my hair i use it for my face i use it for my nails it's almost i always say it's like my high-end coconut oil it's just one of those oils that I absolutely i love and it does really good for my skin and i use it ever so often as an overnight treatment on my face so i really wanted to get this i checked the full size and i was like you know what the sample size usually works well with me and this kit was only ten dollars and I got um, in it you got the Amazonian clay finishing powder which I think I already have one not sure if I give that away I still have it so that'll be cool if I don't if I'd given it away and I get a new one and the um, light camera lashes for in one mascara which is in the end here so it was cool I am more excited of course the maracuja oil but hey I got other products that I will be interested in then they had this right by the Kasha. These were actually right by the Kasha. Um, this is the Too Faced Beauty Blogger Darlings. Um, it comes with uh, Deluxe Chocolate Soleil. This is from Too Faced, yeah. So you get the bronzer Chocolate Soleil bronzer. You get the Prime and Polis Skin Face Primer. The Better Than Sex Mascara. And your Shadow Insurance. Your Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So it's four really great products and I guess yeah beauty bloggers darlings yeah they're always raving about these so that's it that I got from Sephora uh, next from MAC I picked up this lipstick from their new 
um, line. I don't know why I can't remember the line. I think it's something aquatic. I don't know. But this is Goddess of the Sea. And when you see my Inglot in my other haul, it will be like, Rana, can you pick up anything else different? But the packaging is super cute. Yes, I'm going to be one of those persons to keep the box because the box is also just like the packaging. I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm that pathetic. But this is Goddess of the Sea, which is that purple color. Um, this reminds me so much of Up the Amp, which has me wondering now that I put, brought it home if it's not like the same thing, but I don't. I think it's more like Amoros, Amoros or whatever. Yeah, it's um, less lavender. And this is a cream sheen, which generally I love cream sheen formulas. So that's it from MAC. Then this stuff from Inglot. This is what I went in for. This is their gel liner in black. I had the brown a long long time ago and I used about half of it and then it dried up because guess what I started buying a lot of stuff oh it's sealed a lot of stuff and forgot about it but it's that regular black gel liner I am tempted I have on my list to get the white because I heard it's way better than the NYX jumbo pencil and it's it blends well and it does not crease so and if you have you follow me on my Facebook page, you would have known about these bites because I did post it up. This is the first lip color and this is in matte, lip matte 519. It's again that lavender color. I'm sure I have something similar to this in my collection, but I like it. And I will tell you if I have any dupes to it because I do, as I look at it, I think I do. Even when I swatched it, I thought I, in my mind, I was like, I chances I have something however um, I want to put this in my truck in a quad I'm trying to make a quad so with the I'm gonna have these two lip products and then an eyeshadow you know the ones that have the three levels all right I have the brown one to that so I'm thinking that and then I'm gonna get an orange color or pinky color eyeshadow and I'm gonna have that like um, as blush so I can just travel with that or have that in my makeup back to to work and do my makeup and the other color is this one here which is super gorgeous and this is 99 just regular 99 so if you know me these totally have my name on it if you want swatches I will put it on my blog for you guys so that was it from Inglot and then when I was in Walmart I saw these this is the Black Radiance Duo Dynamic Duo which is a lip balm a lip gloss and I've never seen these and I thought they had my name and they were screaming and calling my name when I passed the shop they were literally saying Rowana pick me pick me pick me you need to buy me and take me home so yes I had to this one is called fuchsia I remember that but the plastic when I took out the plastic they had the names on them so this might be grape or purple or something like that yeah I'm that bad so it's really like a balm because it glides on and you have to build it up but my lips are pigmented so I do get a build up and as you can see it's the same color range as the um one before now look at this my I was so intrigued the lip where you thought it was a, like a lipstick, what should have been lipstick is really the balm. But the lip gloss is like super, super, super pigmented. Can you see that? I was like, wow. So here again is the lipstick. And this one is actually a lot more pigmented than the morph one. I don't know if you guys can see. Now lipstick, lip balm, correction there. And then the lip gloss. I'm in love. I'm resistant to go and pick up a backup because guess what? I don't think I need a backup. <sighs> so yeah, that and that is pretty much it. Like really, yes, that is it. And so I was really happy to get these things. I want to try the bronzer and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm happy my haul didn't spend too much. It was a little too ridiculous, but I got to treat myself. So I have a couple other hauls that I want to share with you guys and some deals that I got in. Um, for those of you in the US, you can get in on those deals. And um, yeah, look out for a lot of swatches and stuff, whether it's on this channel or on my Facebook page or on my blog. So thanks for watching this whole video and I appreciate all your comments. So please feel free to share them. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Make my day. I get excited every time I see a new subby. So thanks so much. And yes, I have done the video announcing the winner of my last month's giveaway. I guess I was so busy that I didn't get to announce it. But that video is going to come up if it's not up before this. So look out for it. 
and also I plan to do a giveaway very soon because I got some stuff sponsored and I'm super super excited to share that with you guys so until next time bye